In this video, we're going to look at the area of a rectangular patch on a Mercator projection. So here's the idea. On a Mercator projection, all of the lines of latitude show up as parallel horizontal lines. And all of the lines of longitude appear as parallel vertical lines. So this patch that we're talking about is going to be bounded by a phi sub 1 degrees longitude west, a phi sub 2 degrees longitude east, a theta sub 1 degrees latitude south, and a theta sub 2 degrees latitude north. Okay, so what really happens here when you project this out onto the globe Or actually what happens is the patch that I'm going to show you is projected to that rectangle. So here's the North Pole and here's the equator. All right, so we're going to take the phi sub 1 and the phi sub 2. We're going to draw those in here. This will be phi 1 degrees. I'm going to apply two on the east, phi one on the west. And then let's go with a theta one degree north latitude. Or I guess you could turn this globe upside down and that would be the south pole, not the north pole. It doesn't have to be restricted to the northern hemisphere. This, this method will work whether you're in the northern hemisphere or you're in the southern hemisphere. All right, so let's do a light green. This is actually going to be the patch that projects to the rectangle on the marker. Okay, now in order to make this comp computation, we need to uh, see what the arc length is on a circle. Okay, so here's a circle of radius r. And here's a central angle theta in radians. And here's an arc length S. Okay, the formula goes S equals R theta if theta is in radians. Okay, we use the S equals R theta formula. We're going to need it going this way, and we're going to need to go that way. And the way we're going to set this up is we're going to use some calculus techniques uh, to break this up into, um, and we're going to approximate the area of the patch. So let me get a picture here for the approximate area of the patch. Let's draw this out here. And I'm going to use an interval here with a the theta sub 1 here and the theta sub 2 here. And then I'm going to go with theta sub i and a theta sub i plus 1. And what's going to happen, I'm going to get this little band here. And I'm going to have an arc length S sub i from here to here. And then there's going to be a delta theta arc length there. All right, so the approximate area of the patch is the sum of approximate areas of n horizontal bands. Let's draw these out. Okay. So each of this, the area here, the area here, the area here, 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 and here. We add those up for all the subintervals. 
And then what we'll do is we'll set up a ream on sum. The approximate area of the patch is the ream on sum of all those approximate areas. The exact area, we need to take the limit of the ream on sum, and that's where we'll form a definite integral. All right, so I'm going to color this patch. I'll go with the nice yellow here. All right, for right here. So, right, so I need to get this S sub I, and I need to get this delta theta. So first, there's S sub I. Okay, so using the formula that S equals R theta, if theta is in radians, we're going to take our line of latitude here at theta sub I degrees. Okay, and what's going to happen here is there's going to be a central angle of measure. This angle right here is going to measure the absolute value of phi 2 minus phi 1 degrees. Okay. And then we've got the radius r sub i at theta sub i degrees latitude. Okay, but then we've got to draw this right triangle here. It's in perspective here, so that's a right angle there. The r sub i is there. For the Earth, we're going to use 3,960 miles for the uh, radius of the Earth. Okay. So here's a 3,960. Um, see, we need an angle in here. When we go from the equator here to here, that's going to be theta sub i. Okay, the way the latitudes are measured is you imagine that you're at the center of the Earth and you draw one line segment to any, anywhere on the equator and then you draw a line segment to anywhere on that line of latitude. The central angle at the center of the Earth matches the angle of that latitude. So by alternate interior angles, basic geometry here, these are parallel to one another, so by alternate interior angles, that angle measure is also theta sub i. And what will happen is when you take the cosine of theta sub i, you're going to get the adjacent r sub i, and then the hypotenuse of 3,960. So the r sub i is going to be 3,960 cosine of theta sub i. Okay, so where we see the r sub i, we need to put that in. Okay. So you know, S sub I is going to be the R sub I and then the absolute value of phi 2 minus phi 1. Now keep in mind that this measure right here is in degrees. We need to convert to radian. So whenever we convert degree to radian, we multiply by pi over 180. So using the S equals R theta, we've got a radius the r sub i, and then we've got our theta as the difference of the absolute value of the phi's, absolute value of the difference of the phi's times pi over 180. Okay, but then furthermore, the r sub i is 3,960 degrees cosine theta i. So 3,960 degrees, or 3,960 miles cosine theta sub i times the absolute value of phi 2 minus phi 1 times pi, all divided by 180. Okay, and that's the S sub i that we're going to need. Okay, so the approximate area of the yellow band is S sub i delta theta. Okay, but now theta, delta theta begs to be entered into this uh, equation here. See, the delta theta is just an angle in radians. It is not the arc length. 
Hold on, let me uh, adjust that there. Hang on. The delta theta is an angle, but I need the arc length itself. So we'll call that the length of delta theta. Okay. So from the center of the Earth, we measure out this delta theta angle, and the arc length is going to be the L of delta theta. Okay, S equals R theta. We're going to get a 3,960 miles, and then the delta theta. All right, so in other words, the approximate area of the band is, let's see, L, S sub I times L of delta theta which is S sub I times 3,960 delta theta. And then the S of I is this whole expression here. So we get to plug that in there. All right, so let's gather this all together here. The approximate area of the yellow band is as follows. 3,960 cosine of theta sub i, absolute value phi two minus phi one, times pi over 180, and then this S sub i is multiplied by 3,960 delta theta. Now these factors are going to come together for a 3,960 squared cosine theta sub i, absolute value phi 2 minus phi 1, pi over 180 delta theta. Okay, so now that we've got that set up, the approximate area of the patch that projects to the rectangle from the Mercator projection, that's gonna be the summation from I equals one to N of 3,960 squared. Cosine theta sub i, absolute value of phi two minus phi one pi over 180 delta theta. As we know from um, basic calculus, integral calculus, we want the approximate area to go to an exact area the exact area of the patch on the Earth is going to be the limit as n approaches infinity of the summation from i equals 1 to n 3960 squared cosine theta i absolute value of phi 2 minus phi 1 pi over 180 delta theta and then that becomes the definite integral from our lower bound of theta sub one on this on this side and theta two on the other side doesn't have to be south to north. I mean, you can put this patch in the southern hemisphere and it can work similarly. From theta one to theta two of three thousand nine hundred sixty. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and gather all these constants together at the front and put cos and theta d theta. All right, it's a quick evaluation, just 3,960 pi, absolute value of phi 2 minus phi 1 in degrees over 180 times sine of theta from bound of theta 1 to bound of theta 2. And so we got this nice little formula, 3,000, hold on, hold on, hold on, we got square, 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 square. 
3,960 squared pi. Absolute value of 5,2 minus 5,1. Over 180. Sine of theta 2 minus sine of theta 1. So this nice formula, whatever uh, degrees of latitude and longitude that you have for the patches, you can plug those into the formula. And you can use this formula, for instance, if you get bounding latitudes for the state of Colorado, state of Wyoming. And for Utah, what you do is you can break up Utah into a couple pieces. There should be not a nice lines of longitude and latitude bounding that little... Um, carve out section in the northeast part of the state. A union of two rectangles on a Mercator projection make it look like Utah. You just take a sum of these definite integrals and you can find the approximate area of Utah. So that's how you'd find the area of that um, patch of the earth that would project out to a Mercator projection. It does require the integral calculus.